Go and give me a smile. Ooh, nice dance. Presentation on it, so I'm quite used to talking it through. Okay, right. So we're going to try our best to make you even more famous, <laughs> aren't we, Jazz? She deserves it. <laughs> this is Jules, everybody. And then I go somewhere slightly different. So. <laughs> <laughs> and this is her designated driver. <laughs> I'm Sophie. <laughs> today we've been joined by someone who went viral very recently on CrossFit because she's a superstar. So today's episode actually started when I was sat here, just doing a bit on the computer working away and I got a notification from Jules that she had tagged me in a reel. I sat there, I watched it and I was like, this lady is part of this team and this community and she has an incredible story that needs to go worldwide and how, how can we do that? So I reached out to, to CrossFit, so I knew I had a direct line, and they, they got back to me. Shared her story on their page, and they plan to do stuff with her in the future, which I'm like, yes. All right, let's get this rolling. So I was born when mum was 17, and then my dad died in a car crash when they were 18. So, yeah, well, you were 19, he was 18. Um, so the stress of that we think caused Parkinson's to start in mum's brain because it's always there if you, you're going to get it, you're going to get it and it'll always be there in the back of your brain and a stressful event can bring it on. So yeah, the death of my dad probably brought it on and your toe started curling in which is actually like stereotypical Parkinson's um, symptom. And so that was at 19 and you just kind of got worse and worse throughout my childhood. So there were ups and downs and um, like different things helped and different things didn't and there was just like a general lack of balance, coordination. Perfecting the penguin dive. Yeah. How many years have you been perfe perfecting the penguin dive? Fall and slide. My top half would go, my bottom half would just wouldn't be covered. Like oh, at least. Oh, how long? Perfect. 16, 17 years. Yeah. And you've, got, you've got your happy legs at the moment. Yes, my happy legs are going. <laughs> 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 we were saying Jack's, uh, he's perfected the prawn over the last couple of years, especially in the front squat. But you perfected the penguin dive. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. You missed it. I missed, missed it. it. Craig. I'm, 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 yeah, penguins and prawns together. <laughs> penguins and prawns. We're basically SeaWorld. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz is done with being social already. <laughs> oh, don't make me feel like that. I'm doing my go one. You've been doing loads of qualifiers recently, and one coming up has cleans in it. So you wanted to do cleans? Yes, I do. All right. The next year, so I can have look like I'm really small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just gonna have some fun today. Which is freezing of gait, which is an, a, another like stereotypical Parkinson's symptom. But because Mum was so old, so old, <laughs> you're so old. Because Mum was so young, um, it just no, like no one seemed to think of Parkinson's. No, never came. And you wanted to work out with us. Not really sure why. <laughs> this means I've got to work out. Yeah, and me. <laughs> You, are you vlogging as well? I am indeed. Your, your setup is better than mine. Yeah. We're going head to head, is that what we're doing? Yes, that's what we're doing. Yeah. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> and then, when I was 15, 16, uh, Mum got a DVT in her leg, so, well, in her groin, so it went from belly button down to mid thigh, and then another one down in the calf. Um, and so mum had to have a hospital stay and after that when mum finally was able to leave hospital we'd lost all mobility. It became pretty much a cabbage. Yeah, that was the cabbage era yeah. so she couldn't walk by herself, couldn't really talk much a lot as well, um, couldn't scratch her in itches, couldn't feed herself. Um, so, Sophie used to be there. Yeah, and that's when I would put her to bed and then put her hair across her face and leave her there like that for the rest of the night because I'm mean. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was when we, me and my brother were like full caring and our nan, fully caring for mum. You're in a wheelchair all the time. I saw that picture. Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, and like you never walked anywhere outside the house or anything. And then we went private. Uh, private healthcare, and that's when a few diagnoses were thrown around. But finally, we landed on the Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. Got given dopamine medication, and within taking the first tablet, like within half an hour, Mum was up on her feet again and walking. And it was just the craziest experience. It was like I rang my brother, and, we, and he was like, "What are you doing?" I said, I'm actually walking around the house. I was like pacing up and down. It was crazy. Take her clean. That was so easy, you just need to do it again. Now the first thing that I learned about Jules very quickly from doing the cleans was that sometimes her body does what she tells it to, other times she doesn't, but she doesn't quit. She gets herself back up and she just goes again. And the next time she makes it look so easy. Good deadlift, sir. Solid deadlift. Dude, as soon as everybody walks off. And as soon as I wasn't filming. <laughs> I'm going to have to steal it from your footage. <laughs> trying to decide well she just did a she just did a rope climb pretty much legless the whole way and I said I didn't think you could do that when you first turned up and she said neither did I <laughs> and it's one of the like for me this is uh, for me this just makes me smile you know but going from being unable to eat and look after herself to climbing a rope even she didn't think she could do it, and she did it. Nice. <laughs> amazing. Woohoo! That was That's crazy amazing. good. No, Bi biceps for days. Now I've got to do one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, can you remember how to do a rope? Do you know what a rope climb is? Yeah, of course I do. Remember, you just got to do a massive jump, innit? <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Lapsed it a week and I pulled with my biceps. Yeah. So. Well, I was looking at the guns, I was thinking, oh, she got a license for that. I put that down and we got the biscuit off, no cream. Yummy. Yeah, I couldn't get cream and the cabbage. The others might be a moment. Just, just left in the marshmallow. Mum, can I have your flea? <laughs> well, your relationship has blossomed. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, daughter, best friend duo. Thank you. A lot of it is from like, as weird as it is, from caring for mum. We've been on like a different 
We haven't got like the hierarchy <laughs> of mother and daughter. Okay, <laughs> stop talking about story now. The hot chocolate's more important. Definitely adding that to my choreography. Do some tweaking. I bet you you can now. <laughs> the excited legs are going and everything <laughs> under the table. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, I lost my wafer. I got too excited. I used to hate my like, jittery legs, but now I absolutely love them. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my, my legs will be more excited to see you than I will. <laughs> and I, uh, what, what did I do the other day in the gym? I knew at 15, he started the workout and I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming, my legs were just dancing on the spot and I was going, I am coming, I'm, close, I'm on my way. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's really and it's lights out and away we go. <laughs> tell me you're an F1 fan without telling me you're an F1 fan. <laughs> what did you ask? Um, I said, I asked, at the point at which you couldn't really move or talk, did you think that that was it? Did you ever see a way back from that point? There was one day that I thought my life was over, basically. Um, I'd been to watch Iron Man of all things, and... Um, I, my, I got really, really tired and just thought, oh, I'm in so much pain. And so I asked my mum to pick me up earlier because my friend had taken me. And uh, I was going home and I was like looking at everything and I was thinking, that's the last time I'm going to see a tree. And like taking it all in, just so content with myself. And then I got into bed and gave my mum the biggest hug ever because I thought that was the last time I was going to see it. And uh, oh, I am gonna go um, And that was the only day that I thought there's no turning back. But then I woke up, so I'm still here. And that's how I see it. It's just that, just only one day that I thought it was over. Yeah. We can't. We said we wouldn't cry over a hot chocolate, but we're gonna cry over a hot chocolate. We can't, we can't cry when there's hot chocolate around, people. Okay, focus on the hot chocolate. <laughs> Drink more. Drink more. <laughs> drink. Okay, I'll drink. If she tells me Down to drink, I'll drink. <laughs> Down it. Yeah, Sugar rush. <laughs> feel like you've made a light of it you know like I've not had like you've not been neg like negative mm. you're just you have you almost take the piss out of yourself a little bit oh, I always do I always have taken the piss out of myself haven't we yeah I'd far rather people laugh at me than go oh every fall we laughed <laughs> even when mum dislocated a finger and it was turned the other way because of a fall we still laughed like, we never... came out and went oh I can't deal with that I was like I can't look at it I can't look at it I can't look at it <laughs> but yeah it's, it's just how we are in our family yeah So we did, before you'd ever done CrossFit, we did strength and depth pairs because they had adaptive. And I was like, oh, just come do this with me. 
and that's when he started CrossFit then after mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. How many years was that? One year. One year. September. What? I know. What did it feel like walking into CrossFit? Oh, no. I think you found it scary. Really scary. Yeah. Everyone was like really fit and really strong. Yeah. And then you get to know them and you're like, oh, they're all teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into my family. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're doing all the competitions when you never thought you'd do the competitions. No, I yeah. didn't. I'm doing Barcelona, but Marbella, you name it. Yeah. I'm just it's a great platform as well to tell my story and show that people can stop, can start when they've got a diagnosis of exercise and all that, can't they? She pushed me on the bike, but then on the last one I sent it and she came off the first, we're doing 250 metres each and she came off and she went on the floor and I went, uh oh. He killed me. I, I was like, please no, <laughs> get back up, I need you to do the last 250. What is your message to people? What do you want to tell people? The people at the end of this vlog, what do you want to, what do you want to tell them? That life doesn't have to stop after diagnosis. No, you life doesn't have to stop after anything bad that happens to you. Just pick your head up, keep going if you can. Take time, sorry, I haven't taken over. <laughs> <laughs> great, life can actually begin after diagnosis. You can start all the adventures then. That's, yeah, that's what I'm Yeah. Because life doesn't have to stop when you get diagnosed with something like young, set, uh, young onset Parkinson. Is that right? Onset. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you got, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you should always smile. Yeah. Um, and my, actually, my motto is anything is possible. Like anything. Absolutely anything, isn't it? Even with spazzy dancy legs. I love it. That's amazing. When we were leaving the box, you were saying that before every workout, you smile. Yeah, you do, because it makes it so much easier and it goes so much better. Honestly, I'll try that next time. It might be more of a grimace, but I have to practice <laughs> from this to. <laughs> Watch this face. <laughs> when we see you guys at Sid before every workout, we'll come up to you and be like, smile, smile. smile. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, Who did we uh, have come and test this place just because we knew Jules was coming? So, well, six times fittest woman on earth, Tia Claire Toomey. She was the last, last person we bought here, but. She just tested the milkshakes and the breakfast just to make sure it was good for you. Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah. Hot chocolate, it was. Hot chocolate. What do you want to tell them, Jazz? The hot chocolate was amazing. <laughs> hot chocolate was amazing and this lady is amazing. Just lots of amazing today. Yeah. What a, what a, no, we need the awesome. Yeah, we need the Lego. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Off the Lego movie. Go watch it if you haven't seen it, it's amazing. Awesome. Hey Jules, what can I say? Meeting you and Sophie and just the things that you've been through in life, the way that you had an infectious smile and impersonality, the way that you just didn't quit and have, and have done what some doctors say was impossible. Thank you for making Jazz is a nice day and you're, you're a trooper. It was awesome. It was so good to have you guys up. And yeah, I had the best day. It was so much fun. True uh, inspiration. Yeah. The spot. This. It helps signal. <laughs> if you wrap your head around, the phone around your head, it gives them what? No way. Yeah, that's what it. I mean, I've not heard of that since I was like probably at school, but yeah, back in the Nokia days. Yeah four times around the head and honestly it used to And work. a throw at the floor with a Nokia. No, no, I'm not joking. <laughs> like four times it's around your head and your signal just boosts. It. Lemon and ginger. I got the Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got the healthy uh, lemon and ginger. Yeah. One of the fruit by getting the cappuccino and the hot chocolate. I'm not here for health today. <laughs> <laughs> we worked now. We did for like five whole calories. minutes. Do it again. that, it won't open now. Yeah! That was a race between Tia and Jules, and I don't know who would. 
I it was a close one, but it was. I think Jules. <laughs> And just like that, it was the it was the end of the day, but the start of a new friendship. Jules, never stop being you, all right? You're a legend, the definition of a legend. <laughs> and keep defying the odds and being a superwoman. Team, go follow her on Instagram, show her the love, and anything's possible, especially with a smile. We'll catch you in the next one.